Hello everyone. Today we'll be going over color correction, which is a umbrella term for many things. Today's lesson will focus on the use of white balance, LUT applications, the sharpening of an image, several layers of color, the use of a mask, the use of hue saturation, and scopes. And for this clip, we're going to be using a piece from a wonderful show called Musicology. You should watch it. Here's a little bit. Stop it right there. Now, this predetermined spot appears this way, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse engineer this clip so you can see the process that's taken place. So you can see the difference. Okay, here is the footage, raw, with no effects, no so-called color correction. Now, the first step in the process is to white balance. And the point is, here to apply it. The point is to try to get what's supposed to be white in the shot white. And it's not always that easy. But, you know, like this is supposedly white now. It's better white. It's a little blue still, but it's better than it was. For 90% of the editors that are out there, that's it. They're done. It's color corrected. Let's move on. Which is sad because there's much more that can be done and we're going to go through the process. Um, the next thing we're going to do is apply a LUT, also uh, known as lookup table. These are made by the manufacturers of certain cameras. So we use the Canon 5D on this, so we're going to apply a Canon LUT. So let's do that now. And there you go. Exposing more saturation and, and making it more cinematic. Now, as I do that, I notice Sean's face is soft. So we have to sharpen him up. So to do so, I'm going to hit sharpen. Now, this, I didn't want to sharpen the entire image because I want the drummer, Sean, to be the focus of attention. So you apply a shape mask so that it only applies to that within the shape mask. You can invert it to apply to the outside, but in this case, we want the inside. So I'm going to remove this mask now that you see where it's at, and then unsharpened, sharpened, unsharpened, sharpened. Great. Now we're going to add another layer of color, and this is just to darken the overall image. So we'll put that in there just to bring everything down. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll, I'll get into it later, is because I know that it's going to be too high for the scopes. Now we'll go to another layer. But this time, the layer is around our subject. And what I want to do is create a artificial spotlight, if it will, because at the facility that we're filming, we have no access to the lighting grid. So all the tweaking of lighting that should be done in the studio, we unfortunately cannot. So it has to be done in post. Now you see that it's around Sean. So I'm going to remove this and then show you the difference of he's remaining the same brightness, but we're darkening all around him. Right? So there he is. And he remains the same, but all around darkens. Okay, great. Now, as I mentioned, we want our subject matter to be the center of attention. My eye is drawn to this base. And I would like to have it but drawn here. That's subjective. But I'm going to apply another layer 
and here's the mask which is around the base so I'm just reducing the light around the base so that my eye goes to our drummer so let me remove this and then show you the difference without with without with now one thing I do notice is that he's got that uh, Donald Trump Cheeto a little face and I'd like to bring that down just a little bit to make him non cheeto -y. So I apply a hue saturation layer and this layer is applied around the face. So that's where it's at right there. And let me remove it and show you Cheeto, non Cheeto, Cheeto, non Cheeto. And that's good enough for this. That works. So here it is completely raw. And now here it is with color correction and saturation and layers and white adjustment. <laughs> it's, it's a process. Now, if you're just going to YouTube, you're good. But if you're going to be broadcasting, now you got to go into the scopes. So with that shortcut is Command-7. And here are the scopes. This is the one you need to primarily be concerned with. This is the RGBs. There's overlays, which we'll get into all this on the next part. Luma, which is typical, and the um, histogram is also very useful for controlling your blacks. But I'm just showing you that this will all relate to the here and you'll see this bar brightness is because of this anyway that's a whole nother lesson but that's where they're at once again command seven to remove and that's it now this song has 125 cuts and unfortunately there's no you know quick fix you have to go into each shot and you can apply these settings from this shot to the, the other but there's no way to just say fix everything um, each shot will need its own special love but that's it a quick overview of color correction so-called color correction and all that it, in, that it involves all right so grab a cup of coffee and uh have fun <laughs>